Blah, blah, blah. Hello, everyone. It's me, Walkie, and I'm here before the Shonen Archive starts to say, <laughs> um, today's episode is a little bit different because then at the last second said, you know, it would be really cool. We should react to the OPs and EDs that we're going to be talking about today because that'd be better than just like going through them. So that's what we did. That also means that I'm not 100% sure how much of this video is actually going to survive. Uh, I did my best to kind of make them actually be available on the channel, and as such, they are in black and white, <laughs> they are very small, and you can barely hear the music, but it's better than nothing, it's better than having my entire, uh, channel be struck from the sky, um, so there you go, I, in the link below, I will have, um, both in the comments and in the little box, I'll have a full place where you can find the OPs and EDs if you want to hear along with it. I think they are all worth actually looking for themselves, and thanks to Hellnix once again for, uh, compiling them all and finding them for me and telling all the names and giving me everything. I wish I could have brought up absolutely everything that I wanted, but I was, you can hear it in the video, I start getting work emails. I was in some dire straits. <laughs> but thank you very much once again, and now I will take it to the actual video starting. Uh, enjoy it. Until next time, peace out. Wait, the video is actually going to start. No peace out. Enjoy it. Bye. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Shonen Archive. I'm Wookie, and I'm here with Zenrot. Hello. What's Shonen Archive? I'm glad you asked. Shonen Archive is a series in which me and Zen have dedicated our entire well-being to watching every single Shonen Jump uh, anime possible, uh, starting with Gintama, and also talking about Kuroko's basketball. And today, we're going to be talking about Gintama, but we're also going to be talking... We're also going to be watching Gintama... <laughs> Hopefully this shows up well on the episode, but uh, we're going to be watching through the actual OPs and EDs that are going to be in Yoriniku Gintama-san, as well as talking about episodes. God damn it, emergency alert. I know that it's flooding, man. You don't have to keep reminding me <laughs> that California is flooded. It's okay, I know. This is the third warning that we the second that have appeared on video because <laughs> my phone has not stopped blowing up. I'm trying to talk about important things like Yuriniku Gintama-san. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna be watching the OPs and EDs for Yuriniku uh, Gintama-san and then talking about episodes 202 and 203, which is the start of the new season of Gintama, which starts with them talking about the year long break. And let's get right into it. First, let's talk about what is uh, Yuriniku Gintama-san. Um, basically, after Gintama finished at episode 201, they took a break. Either because of they were going to just work... On, they, they took a break because the manga was catching... what well, The anime was catching up to the manga. So they decided that it would be better for them to just wait and let the manga keep up so that they could make new episodes... And what ended up happening is that they took, like, basically an entire year-long break. And they decided to start running just reruns of Gintama. Uh, called, uh, but not just, like, reruns of Gintama. They literally just called it Yuriniku Gintama-san. And it was, like, an entire series of Gintama that is dedicated to just rerunning specific episodes. It's really weird. It's really bizarre. Um, it probably is what caused a lot of confusion as to why people, why is it not coming back? Because I honestly don't know why you would do this ever. Um, it's really bizarre. Even now, as I'm like sitting here and talking about it, it's so hard to think about why would you do this? Um, sometimes some animes do this because they want to like make it easier for people to get into the anime. Like when Dragon Ball Z made Dragon Ball Z Kai, that was an obvious play for them to like shorten the episodes and make it so that more people could see it. Um, they didn't do that for this. They just decided to rerun a bunch of episodes. They didn't like do anything to them besides give them a new OP and ED. And yeah, it's really bizarre. So we're going to be watching the actual OPs and EDs through them. Uh, there are five in total. Uh, the first, which is really funny because the first two are dedicated to the Benny Zucker movie and is just the Benny Zucker movie opening <laughs> and the ED as well. So we've did it. We did it, everyone. We found a way to talk about Benny Zucker again. 
Uh, and then there's a second OP, uh, and it goes up to five. So we'll go through them. In terms of the actual episodes, they kind of go through them. Episodes one through ten, oh, episodes one through nine were um, Benny Zakura related, I believe. Um, but also showing like the hot pot episodes. It's like really, it's really weird. Apparently, some of this stuff inside here is also like. They're like the little tiny like promo vignettes to show you like oh yeah here's just the little things like little like two minute things inside there. Unfortunately, I could not find a compilation that just had every single one of them. Uh, it's really weird, but it's also not worth you watching your Hindu. Honestly, the only thing you need to watch are the OPs and EDs, which again they did make except for the first one all specific to this season. So, with that explanation out of the way, uh, we will be. Starting watching it now. Let me share the screen so Zen can actually watch them with me, as opposed to me just watching in silence and Zen going like, "Oh yeah, sure, that's happening." <laughs> All right, Zen, can you see it? Yeah. All right. This is for the first. This is the first OP. So here we go. Play it through it. And it's the Benny Zakra one. Let's go, featuring. Uh, uh, Bak- how do you say the the name of the dancer Bakshi song? Dancer. Yes, which is a fantastic. Uh, bleh, watching this op again reminded me how good this song actually is. And our uh, that first clip was from the movie version of this. Are all of these from the movie version? Yeah, they have to be because they're in sixteen by nine. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's the one. That's the main difference now that I'm understanding is that uh, the old Benny Zakra was not in sixteen by nine. This has to be all new animation. Not new animation, yeah, but either redone or in some kind of way. Yeah, it, well, it's from the it's from the movie version. Because the, yeah. the beginning scene, that's what this song is actually from, too. Yeah, um, that's true. I don't know. Have you seen the movie version of the Benny Zakar? Because I have seen, <laughs> I've seen some of it. I watched it. Um, yeah, so the, the this song is what plays instead of OP3 uh, in the movie during the, the ending battle. Wow. Man, this is such a good arc. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. It, it really is. Be like, oh my god, it's it's again, but I really like it. It is. It's really funny cuz whenever we see them referencing this in some kind of way, it's always like, oh yeah, like this ending shot, I love it. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, the Kentucky wave. Oh, it's so good. It is. It is fantastic. All right, let's go to the oh it just instantly played the second Gintama ed that is not what we want the, the, the that is not what i need here it is Doop. oh that is not well thank god no one will see this on my end hopefully <laughs> i am trying my best here uh copy text apparently i don't know how uh are you serious? Come on. Are you really going to copy the entire... The just click the link in the Discord chat with me. I know. I got it right here. <laughs> okay, here's the second ED. Here we go. This is going to be so fun for me to edit together. Oh, this is the ending one. Okay. Yeah, this is the ending. ending. Yeah, this is I'm the playing ED. it at the same time so I can hear the music. Okay, smart. I can't hear the music at the moment because yeah. I, I suffer for the people. Also, if, the per- if anyone heard like a little beep beep, that was my work saying, like, hey, you should get ready for work now. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Not yet. Not yet. We got some Gintama stuff to deal with. And then I'll get to it. It's fine. It doesn't start till 9.30. Is this song from the series? It sounds familiar. It is the second... E- it is the ED for the Benny Sakura movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And in this ED, you can really see um, when they show Katsura, the running joke that Katsura and Akube are actually the same character. Because yeah. his his hair here, I didn't get the Andromeda stuff until I saw him in this specific light. And I said, okay, I get it now. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> that shot right there on uh-huh. the side <laughs> almost looks exactly yeah. the same. That's a really good joke in the episodes that are coming up to you. Because I don't think they're that funny, but that whole bit's really funny. It is. It ends up working. Uh, here we go here. and see him a bunch of his kids. It's funny how much of this it, like they show to us in these. Like the them in the past or whatever Mm -hmm. uh with their t-shirt because we've not really seen this guy at all yet no i I would say that um their teacher along with sachan and hidora are and the and their friend who is also from um the who was also in the revolutionary army with them are maybe the number one side characters who are in 
the OPs and EDs that don't actually appear in any episodes. They are up there for sure. <laughs> like, um, one moment as I go for... That was the second... That was the, uh, the first uh, ED. I'm going for the second one right here. There we go. Okay. Uh, I've, I think those are combined. Actually, while you go through here, pay attention to all of them because they almost always show up. So we're going to move on to OP2. The first one was the Benny Zakura movie opening in ED, but for this one, this is actually a new thing completely. Yeah, so let me. New one, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, so let me. The animation is. Uh, yeah, the animation I is, and, the, and the, is the song is as well. I'm trying to find it right here. Yoriniku. This is uh, Kaze no Gotoku. This is the second opening, and I think the ED, which was. Why. I can't find the ED's name, but we'll find well, it's fine for right now. We'll go for the OP. Okay, starting up OP2 now. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is completely new animation and everything. Showing a bunch of different like stills from his life. This is also weird because this is also, I think, in 16x9. These OPs and EDs, I think, are in 16x9, but the episodes are not. That's weird. <laughs> it's also weird how many of these clips are from pre Benny Zakura stuff. It is. As, again, I, I, I guess a way for them to kind of show that <laughs> this is the best of. They're just still showing old clips from it, but here's another good shot. This is the shot of all the Shinsengumi members. This is in every single OP <laughs> in some form or another. <laughs> I have it. Need to have it. Katsura gets his own. Black Katsura, yeah. Yeah, of course. W uh, Will Smith here. I'm and then they're, for some reason they're at the moon, the scene from A Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, it's on the Nightmare Before Christmas Hill. The obligated also, I like Sachan. How Sachan reference. keeps getting like in these. Yeah. They keep being like, look at this character, but it's like, dude, she's not in the series. <laughs> no, there, there you go. There's the the sensei the, again. The one column of Sachan that you're gonna get for the next three years. Yep. Hello. Some good, like, side character shots here. These dudes end up showing a whole bunch in these OP. Yeah, there he is. The number one merchant of I'm just here for the OPs. <laughs> he's in a lot of these OPs and EDs. And like you said, the number of episodes that he's actually legitimately in is not many. Just, just like, near zero. Yeah, yeah. I, I just show up for, like, the, the openings and I'm gone. Yep. See you later, dudes. And then he, the number of episodes that he's been in are not equivalent to how many that he's actually legitimately in. Okay, that was the second ED. Uh, that was the first, the second OP. Excuse me with my words. It's been a very long day. I swear to God, I know how what I'm doing, Zen. Give me a sec. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sometimes when you uh, control C with Discord, it acts all funky. All right. Here's the second ED, which might be up there with one of my favorites in terms of the animations, because it's so bizarre. But we're going to start right here. Yeah. See, it starts all normal. It's, like, nice at the ocean. Kentucky sleeping. You know, just a little shot of the Just Away doll. Close up to the Just Away doll. And then uh, the fucking animated real life just the way Dom walking smoothly. Oh, why is he walking like that? <laughs> this reminds me of uh, the SpongeBob Lost episode. It does. Also, I like that Sachan's little Kentucky had a shell on his penis. Because <laughs> obviously, in her mind, she had uh, done it in uh, naked. The meeting of the minds here between Elizabeth and the, the just a way doll. And the giant just a way doll. Yeah. And then they <laughs> join him for the, for the <laughs> fucking Mario. Also, looks like he's just a like, cut up PNG. <laughs> just so sad to be here. Uh, everyone's favorite prince. He sees two freaks and he's like, I need these guys in my collection. I need, yeah, I need these freaks. Get these freaks up in here. <laughs> oh my god, they're in love. Absolutely. Who wouldn't? This is a, a tale. Uh, it goes beyond the bo the borders of anything. Two mascots finding love within themselves, and this obviously freaks out Kentucky, who has an aversion <laughs> to any form. Even... <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> that, was, that was funny. I like that one. That was good. That was a very yeah. In terms of the animations, I really like that one. Um, we got. Oh, please be correct here. Thank you so much, Discord. This uh, third OP. 
uh, I should say, for the sake of my editing, starting now. There we go. <laughs> Got to do it as I travel through the future here to show some more Gintama. It's still crazy to me that they just made... This one is like them hanging out just doing their jobs. Which is pretty nice because we actually don't get to see them do the jobs that often. <laughs> And I think Sadaharu's is like little the little dog friend that he liked from so many episodes ago where is in this OP as well at the beginning shot there. Uh, see there we go, Shinsengumi Renshin. Shown with the the shot and the not the shotgun, the rocket launcher. Cut to usually Katsura, but not this time. Boom. Now there's Katsura. The crazy animated Katsura. <laughs> so many frames in that little dance that he was doing. See, now we Kibbe do... kind of also feels like a I'm kind of here character. A little bit sometimes. I feel like that when they actually use Kyube... Not as much as Sachan. No, not not as much. Kyube gets a little bit more. Just just to give an example, in the upcoming episodes that we're talking about, they Kyube is there, Sachan is not there. <laughs> I yeah, think that, that shows... That shows the, the true difference between them. Nice shot of Musashi as is well. Is that the ramen wife? Yeah, ramen wife. And there he is ramen again. Ramen wife is here. Ramen wife is here, and of course, everyone's favorite OP merchant is back as well to show his gun. Hedora <laughs> at the back. Sadaharu takes them both down. Yeah, especially when you when you watch a lot of these, it's it's like very clear how many like some characters are just like I'm here for the shot. Like Sachan usually gets like three seconds of dedicated time to her at any given time. <laughs> All right, starting on E E D three right here right now. Let's go. Uh, see, it's a shame that I can't hear. I remember really liking a lot of the music. It's also very hard for me to remember some of them because the new ED that we got, I actually really liked, and that one's kind of replaced it because there's a lot of English shouting. I can't remember if this is the one that also has English <laughs> shouting in it. It's so funny how, like, stereotypically anime, Gintama, Ofis, and EDs are. They are. They, uh, the OTs are always like excited, happy, and then the EDs are always like somber and yeah, little, relaxed, and everyone's little, contemplative. Yeah, usually the my favorite ones of the EDs of them are the one that are just like super crazy happy, like um, Mr. Raindrop, for example, is a real a, a I one love that. Mr. Raindrop, that's yeah. one of my favorite ones. Mr. Raindrop is definitely one of my favorite ones, and it's super simple because it's just like Elizabeth hanging out on a rainy day while you know Mr. Raindrop doing that, and it's really effective for me. I think that's enough for an OP. For an o for an OP, I need it to be like, yeah, get me excited to watch. And for an ED, I just need something like nice and cool and calm and collected. Usually. I love how uh, OP and ED Kagura is a completely different character from the actual character of Kagura. <laughs> just it, not even remotely similar at all. No, not not at all. Come she's on. like cute and sweet and then like bubbly in the OPs. And then in this show, she's just a little monster gremlin creature. It is. It is a complete difference in character. I'm gonna copy that, and we'll go here. Oh god, so many autoplay is on, on here. Okay, starting here right now, OP4. And this is the one with the crow in it. This is when you know, the chances are the episodes that they show here are real serious business. Because this is a serious business type of OP. Because uh, Gintoki is extremely serious looking at the camera. What is with the dramatic cat shot? I guess, is, was there a cat early on that I'm just not remembering at the moment? I know the, the most recent one we had a Maybe cat. Maybe we jumped ahead to the cat arc. <laughs> Maybe we're really far ahead. Maybe. <laughs> but this one feels like... Uh, actually, this one might actually kind of go with the the setup of the first one where they said they all disappeared for a year <laughs> this one definitely feels like they're off on their own doing their own thing see murder of crows then. yeah this is this is very dramatic it is i can only assume that the episodes that are bundled in here are extremely dramatic as well the shimpachi grabbing the wall and screaming <laughs> it is hilarious. and here we go these two again they're all over the sachan series for three seconds goodbye uh -huh. Disappears. 
Mario always just off. <laughs> I like that they just had a, him, a shot of him being homeless for a bit. <laughs> that was all that they needed to see right there. It's like, oh yeah, he's just being homeless I, for a little bit. It always kills me whenever something like really serious happens and it cuts to Gintoki in his little doofy helmet <laughs> and like Knuckles is riding his moped. He's maybe the only anime hero who rides a little moped to do things. <laughs> it's really funny. Uh, that one's also very cool looking. The, no, I'm doing the wrong thing. There we go. This is the right thing. Caught myself this time, though. Uh, that was OP4, correct? Yes. Yeah. So this is now ED4, which this one I think also looks really nice. So starting now. Uh, this one looks really nice. This one looks like... It's kind of crazy that they actually just use this kind of animation style for rerun episodes <laughs> that's always in yeah, the back really of like, my it's like uh like a painting it's really nice yeah it is very nice and it's very calming at the end here this is the nicest shimpachi has ever looked mm-hmm yeah <laughs> he also has like a plucky like astro boy like look to him on this one for that brief bit right there if, he, if only it was the 1920s he could have had a shot in being something higher than uh eighth place Kondo checking out this eagle. Oh, I like the trail of like the sword slash. Yeah, it is very nice. A lot of it's Okita bad. wearing this eye mask. I forgot that in the early days he wore that eye mask a whole bunch. Yeah, he was sleeping. Yeah, Katsura. Without the most regal Katsura has ever looked. The most regal looking that Elizabeth has ever looked. Takatsuji also looking. Also uh, a bit of an OP merchant, big time. Exactly, we got to we got to the other OP merchant to show him as the beating <laughs> of the body. So many characters. I'm just realizing now. <laughs> Come on, like here's him too. The big three, the ones who are about to reach 120 percent of their OP and ET power. <laughs> they literally do nothing but show up in the OPs and the ETs. That's what happens when you're like. Since we're ever gonna see that guy with the glasses ever again? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's gonna show he's up been eventually. Like hundred episodes, man. <laughs> he's gonna show up. Just wait. He's gonna. He's totally gonna show up pretty soon as we make this. He's got to be it's showing been an up. Unbelievable amount of time. Don't don't tell us everyone, but I'm actually gonna keep count starting from this one, from this episode when he actually legitimately shows up in another episode. If it makes it to a hundred. Um, then Zen will have won the bet that he did not show up for another 100 episodes. <laughs> now, this next one, um, had to, uh, it was on Facebook. Um, and thanks to the, uh, the person who helped me make this list and everything that, uh, they were able to point me to it. Because for some reason, this OP is not in... It is not in YouTube for whatever reason. It's really weird. That also makes me a little bit afraid about what that means for my channel. But you know what? I'll figure out a way. So starting... Oh, wait. I forgot to say starting now. Starting now. Go through it here. It had to be something related to the song. That's the only thing that I can imagine in the back of my got head. It. Oh, my God. I was watching this one earlier. Because yeah. I watched all these ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And it's it went from this one to, like... Um, like, I guess the next video on the Facebook playlist or whatever. Yeah. And it was a woman sitting in a balloon that was getting filled up with Coke and Mentos. And I was like, I need to get out of here. What wait, what are you doing? <laughs> wait, wait, what? Yeah. yeah, it was, I, I don't know. I don't know. Thank you for telling me so I can be on, on that. I can be put my finger on the pulse as far as, like, quickly getting out of here, though. This one's like, see, there he goes. There's his, uh, his sensei up here. The old Katsura and Takazuchi throughout the years. I do not remember the yellow afro Shinsengumi member. I <laughs> they just showed him there for a brief moment. I do not remember him at all. This is also a very nice uh, OP animation style here. I think Okita thumbs up. Yeah, I mean, I assume he's the one that caused it. See, so that one's they're yeah, just the fire. yeah. See, look, they're so happy, just hanging out. Getting their residual check for being in the OP. Yeah, they're getting their royalty <laughs> check from Benny Zakura still. The boat is actually from the checks that he gets for the OP and ED. It's the same for him. Both of them can afford that big ass <laughs> boat that they have because they're able to <laughs> get, <laughs> use the buddy funds from this OP and ED. There was also a really nice shot. I like it when they do it. I think they do it every once in a while in the uh, OPs and EDs, but I like it when Gintoki does the classic pose 
Oh um, yeah, the, the the foes. Yeah, the one from the first manga volume and the first early times as well. I think it's really cool. And now we'll go to the final ED. Um, starting now, which I think this one looks really cool, and I'm still undecided for the song. It it's probably because there's like heavy, heavy like um, auto tune in it. That I have to still figure out. It's definitely one of the ones where I feel like I would have to hear more of it. It doesn't help that the most recent ED that we saw for the the next two episodes also had it in English and didn't have this. So I'm, maybe it's a little weird recency bias on this one. Um, but I remember it, took, it taking me a while for this one. This one's also just cool the way it goes in. Kondo, somehow hilarious when he's looking slightly serious. <laughs> Yeah, it's really it's really funny when Kondo even like remotely wants to be taken seriously. Yeah, it is because he's I like just the like color gradient all these though. It is. It is very nice looking. I think it's a very interesting uh, style for the ED. Okita back with his uh, special mask. Oh, see, that's a great transition with Elizabeth. <laughs> that's so sick. <laughs> it's really good. Um. Yeah, this one just look like there's a style for it. We got the it's just the me trying to get used to the song for most of it. Yeah, see they're like the inside the eyes of the other ones, which is really cool transition style. It ends with those three. Stanced up. Exactly, one hundred percent ready to fight. No time for any of the other characters on here. And those are the ones for your Niku, um, Gintama. I would suggest you going out there and actually tracking them down. I will include down below the full-on list of everything. Um, because someone did, again, compile it to make it very easy for me. And then because of my work, I've been very... <laughs> it was very hard for me to actually put together all the things at the last second. Like, I had all these things planned, and then my work was like, what if we made a slightly longer meeting? But don't worry, I'll have the... Great. Yeah, so I was like, fuck, thanks so much for that. Um, so yeah, there's that. Really cool, a lot of the OPs and EDs. And now we can actually talk about um, the start of the new Gintama season, which is... Uh, not your Nikyu Gintama-san. It is your Nik It is Gintama apostrophe, which is considered a sequel to the Gintama anime, um, which they sometimes it's called Gintama uh, in Chosen, which is literally just Gintama Overtime. Um, it's really weird. Apparently, this would also go on hi hiatus at some point, and then come back. That's crazy. Now I'm reading it here. This was the sequel to the Gintama anime that premiered in Japan on, on April 4th, 2011. It would later go on a hiatus after March 26, 2012, and restarted as Gintama and Chosen, or literally Gintama Overtime, on October 4th, 2012, with a mix of old and new episodes, and then it ended on April, March 28th, 2013. That's kind of nuts. <laughs> so you can already see the issues that they're having with being caught up to the manga, and trying to give them more time. And then them just not running into... It taking longer than expected to actually get the anime up and running. Very interesting stuff. But yeah, let's talk about episode 202 and 203 now. Starting with episode 202. Everyone got a little grown up after spring break. Go ahead, Zen. Oh, hang on one second. I need to pull it up because I am not prepared. It's okay. I can uh, stall in the background. What did you... Oh, you know what? I forgot to say the, the one I ended up liking the most. Uh, All right, I'm ready. Damn it. You already finished. God damn it. Go ahead, <laughs> ready. Yeah. I wasn't that unprepared. I was ready to go into a whole spiel, and then you just cut me from underneath. Go ahead, Zen. All right. So, uh, Gintama comes back. It, it was on break for the manga. So now it's back, um, and Shinpachi's like, who the hell? And there's someone standing in, like, um, in Gintoki's office. And he's like, who the hell is this? What are you, what are you doing in here? And, uh, and Gintoki's like, oh, you don't remember me, buddy. It's me, Gintoki. And he turns around, and he's dressed like Yamcha. Yep. Uh, and then he's giving, like, a Yamcha's backstory as what he's been doing for the past two years. <laughs> uh <laughs> 
And then Shinpachi's like, what are you talking about? And then Shinpachi realizes that everyone else has been, like, living life uh, during, the like, the downtime where the manga, the anime was not being made because the manga was catching up. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's like, that doesn't even make sense. It's only been a year. And he's like, no, 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 no. It's only been a year, but in the anime, two years went by in that <laughs> one year. <laughs> and so uh, Shinpachi basically hasn't done anything for two years. And he's like, that doesn't make any sense. Um, and then Kagura comes in and she's like a, a teenager now and uh, Shinpachi's like what the fuck is going on and then she nappas him by quickly changing into her pajamas and standing on his head to, to show her <laughs> new uh, skills and then she goes to lay down and Kintoki says something like wow she's really improved in these two years she's become the, the quite the powerful pajama girl <laughs> Um, and then Sadaharu also arrives, and it turns out that Sadaharu is actually, um, a man now. Uh, and everyone's like, that, how does that happen in two years? And they're like, it's a dog. And he's like, that doesn't, that's a different person. And like, no, look, listen, dogs grow way faster than people. All right. It only <laughs> takes a couple of years for them to become old men. Um, and Shinpachi's like, that's ridiculous. And he, he leaves and he goes downstairs to yell to Atose, Tama, and Catherine. And they're also all old men. They're the same old man that Sadaharu was. Mm-hmm. And Gintoki's like, no, you don't understand. Everyone's been changing and growing in these last two years except for you. you don't, you've done nothing. <laughs> so he runs home and he finds his sister and he's like crying about how the whole world moved on in the last two years but not him. Um then it turns out that she ended up marrying Kondo during those two years. Like, she gave in. She gave up and married him. Um, and so Kondo is now his brother-in-law, and Shinpachi's, like, slowly losing it. And Kondo's like, hey, I got you a job also. You're going to work with Shinsengumi now that I'm not the, the head of it anymore, you know? Um, and as he's going to join, he's in, like, the uniform and everything. And then <laughs> it's like... Make the two of us proud, or actually the three of us, because she's like, I'm pregnant with Kondo's baby. <laughs> and this causes uh, Shinpachi to have a complete meltdown, and he sprints, uh, and he sprints through like a bunch of different scenes. Like he's <laughs> on like a track meet, and he runs past the people running track. Yeah. And then one of them is a train, uh, and I forget what the third jungle. one was. Yeah, it's the jungle. And then he finally gets to a cliff, and he's like screaming at God, like, how did this happen? Uh, and then Kube appears next to him and is like, yeah, um, I don't have Tai anymore because she married Kondo. So I decided to change my image as well and stop you know, like being who I'm not. And he's like, who the, who, like, what do you mean? And, oh, you became a, like, choose to present yourself as a woman. And then uh, Kube and him, like, have this weird quasi-romantic moment. And she's like, here. And she grabs his hand and goes to move it to her crotch. And he's like, oh, my God, is it finally happening? And then uh, she makes him grab uh, her dick. Because mm-hmm. she's like, yeah, in order to change my character, instead of being a boy on the outside and a girl on the inside, I'm now a girl on the outside and a boy on the inside. <laughs> and then she's like, my my new goal is to find a world where gender has no meaning with all of these people. And she points to the cross-dresser bar. Mm-hmm. And he's like, are you working at, like, a gay bar now? And she's like, yeah, I'm the ace. <laughs> <laughs> and she's, like, super proud of it. She, yeah, um, go for it. And then um, Katsura shows up and is like, I knew it. You got, a, you got a member attached to you now because you've been trying to steal my character archetype this whole time. <laughs> Everyone knows that we're very serious characters. The only difference is that we have a different gender. But now that you have the same one as me, you're trying to take my spot. So he reveals that he also transitioned uh, and has now become Zorako full-time. He's now a woman. Mm-hmm. So they have different genders again. Uh, and then they start having a Dragon Ball Z-esque fight like, that, on the side of the cliff I where think they're that... like, bouncing around and punching each other. Yeah, I think that happens in the next episode. I think it ends with him revealing that it's he's... Oh, he's... is it? Is it when he just whips the thing off? And yeah. Then, uh, it's like, I'm in my dress. And then... I'm, okay, I'm yeah. now Zorako. Yeah, that's where it ends. Um, this might have actually been a two-parter based off of the way that it's titled here now that I look at it. On Crunchyroll, it's considered two separate episodes, but I just realized, like, I think they're both called... 
Okay, no, no, it's maybe it's a little bit slightly different. This one's called Everyone Looks a Little Grown Up After Spring Break, and the next one is called Everyone Looks Pretty Grown Up After Spring Break. So very similar. So either way, it's done with this one. Uh, starting with this one, there's an o a new OP and a new ED, and I think both of these are really fucking good. <laughs> I really like the OP, uh, the ED specifically, and again, it probably has it probably has to deal with it having English chanting in it. Uh, but it has it also has Gintoki and another dude facing off, who I assume will be one of the dudes from the upcoming arcs, uh, and I think it fits really well. So I look forward to hearing more episodes. I was actually kind of bummed when we stopped watching episodes because <laughs> I bet I did not have to. I couldn't listen to the OP and ED anymore. It made me very sad. <laughs> Just uh, turn them on. I know I could, that, but that's why. But no, but then I have to come here and record this, <laughs> so I couldn't. <laughs> uh, I had to stop myself. Anyway, um, really liked this as a start of a new episode. I like the beginning where they talk about they do the intro to Gintama again. It's in its old style, which is not sixteen by nine, four by eight. Um, and Kagura hits him and says, like, why are you doing the intro again? And he's like, well, it's a new anime. You know, people might be coming in here. He's like, it's not only just a new anime. It's now in 16 by 9. And it, like, opens up, like, Wizard of Oz. Uh, it says, like, not only is Gintama back, it's back in 16 by 9. And it's really funny, because when they open it up, they use it, they, the, the background is white, so they use <laughs> the new 16 by 9 to have more white space. <laughs> I thought it was a good way of like introducing the the sixteen by nine, uh, and then obviously when the real episode starts, there's a lot of Dragon Ball Z references in here because obviously they're making a they're making a bit as to when Goku came back from training with uh, uh, Kami. Is it Kami or is it Popo? Was he training with Kami or Popo? It was Popo. It was, well, was kind of both. It was, but um, you know semantics. Dragon Ball fans will fight me for this, and so I need that's to. True. He was up there. It was like Kami's. Because that's, it's Popo. He's fighting yeah. Popo. He's fighting Popo. He's hanging out. He was cool with Kami, but it was like, it was like, I guess it was a joint effort. Con it, the, it's sort of both, yeah. Yeah, Popo was the one who was like doing the hard work, and Kami was like saying like, uh, I'm going to take off your tail if that's cool. <laughs> I kind of would like the moon to come back. <laughs> yeah, I need to get the moon back, please. <laughs> yes, please. But um, obviously it's a little bit of a play on that, uh, of them coming back. He even makes a mention of like, how come you're addressing me as if we're about to go fight in the world tournament? <laughs> Because that's what happened to Yamcha. When he came back, he came back with, like, more scars on him from training. Uh, he also talked, when he's talking about his what had happened to him in those two years, and it's just everything that happened to Yamcha. He's like, yeah, when I fought against uh, an aliens and the androids, and they show him, like, getting the a hand put through, and getting killed by a Cyberman. He's like, and I had my girl stolen by me from an alien as well, and it has, like, their fake Vegeta, <laughs> and he's losing to his fake Bulma. Which is pretty good. Yeah, I love the color, like palette swap. Uh, Android twenty. Yeah, it was. It was Doctor pretty, Zero. Yeah, it was a uh, very nice references there. Uh, when Kagura shows up, it's also really funny because she is uh, now much older. She's probably around the same age as Shinpachi, and he can't handle her because all of a sudden she now has boobs, and that's enough to complete. When she comes back in the next episode, that's enough to completely uh, weaken him in any form to Kagura. <laughs> He was uh, already... Well, I remember when when she shows up, she, like, takes her thing off and she's in a revealing outfit and they keep showing her chest, which is, like, jiggling unreasonably even yep. when she's standing still. She is. And he's like, oh, my God, you're so you're so older now. <laughs> you look so different. Uh, I obviously really like the bit where he shows up when she calls him Nappa and just goes on his fucking head. Yeah, she just gets on top of his head like Goku. So fucking funny. And then she like goes to the couch, and then when he goes like, oh, I brought snacks, Gintoki, and then he and then he does the same thing. Gintoki goes on top of his head and <laughs> eats the snacks. He's like, oh, what snacks? And then she goes inside her head, damn, he's really strong now. He was able to eat the snacks before I could mention that there were snacks. <laughs> <laughs> really good really good dragon ball gags uh the fact that they continue on into the next episode is also really good <laughs> the bit where we mentioned here a little bit but when fucking QA and um uh, katsura as um zaraku start fucking having a dragon ball z fight <laughs> just going back and forth teleporting hitting each other it was so fucking funny to me it was so good i'm a sucker for the dragon ball jokes they get me every single time <laughs> 
Uh, next, I like the the bit with Sadaharu where he's try where he tries to explain what happened to him. I think it's also really funny because I think this is the start of him saying like, you know, they say that boots war- get worn after two years or something, and uh, that yeah, it's, it's like uh, it only takes a man two years to outgrow his boots or something like that. Yeah, and then when Kagura when he says like, Kagura, you're so ad- more adult looking now, and she's like. Oh, Shinpachi, did you not hear that it takes a woman one year for her, her boots to get worn out? <laughs> like, she says the same thing, but she just adds it. She's like, oh, it's way faster. Women get their boots done uh, way quicker, uh, which is pretty good. But yeah, the, the Sadaharu shows up, and there's like a little tiny Sadaharu, and that's the delivery. And then it's revealed that it's just a real-ass man um, is really good, because the I think it's Cubase VA doing the voice for the new... Um, for the new Sadaharu, which is like the wart Sadaharu, where he like mentions, he's like, "What about this little tiny?" Like he makes he he sees like a little tiny Sadaharu. He's like, "What about this?" He's like, "Oh no, that's just uh that's just a wart. Don't worry about it." Um, and then he goes to Atose, uh, Tama, and Catherine, and he talks to them, and it turns out that they've also had the exact same transition from two years later, which is pretty good. Um, there's also a bit here where Kintoki's talking about like. Oh yeah, remember when we said it would take two years and we would meet back here at um uh it was like a play on uh Sabodi Ar- Archipelago from One Piece, but it's like Jabodi Archipelago. <laughs> they just replaced the Ness with a J. <laughs> He's like, What the hell is Jabodi Archipelago? He's like, I don't know, but we would have found it somehow. <laughs> uh which is a play on the One Piece two years later time skip. Um and yeah, I also like the bit where Kondo shows up because when he goes to h- go hug Otai, uh, Kondo's there immediately and also gives him a hug. And then they show them what their life would look like as a married couple. And he's like, "Oh, did you make?" My-? He's like, "I made your favorite." He's like, "Curry." She's like, "Omelet." He's like, "Yay!" Yeah. <laughs> yay. Oh, yay. And he, and he thinks he says something like, "Let's eat our pain away" or something like that. <laughs> he's, he says like, "Yeah." Let's go do that. Um, and I also like the bit where she says, like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm pregnant now and deal with that. And he has, like, a nuclear meltdown. Like, when he's running and they show all the different scenarios that he's running behind uh, is super funny. Um, the bit with Kyube as well, where Kyube is now trying to go beyond what Eddie Gen- Like, almost perfect cell-like, <laughs> trying to go beyond what is uh, the perfect gender. They talk about it here and they talk about it in the next one. It was pretty good. Um, I was also surprised. I was like, whoa, are they really going to go that far of to show him, like, touching it? But then the funny thing is, is that I was like, wait a minute. I realized that the second that they were going to show him touching her, I was like, they would never allow that on a network if it was actually between a man and a woman. He's about to touch a penis of some kind. And then that is 100% what he does. <laughs> and then his face is like, I don't know what I expect. He has, like, this face that is, like, full of disappointment, but also he's like, I'm not actually really that surprised. Somehow I always knew that that's exactly what I was going to be touching, even if I was super excited for it. Um, And yeah, I thought it was a good way to go back and kind of like try and explain. I like that they did not skirt around how long they had been gone of saying like, oh yeah, we've been gone for a year. Let's uh, (laughs) let's start of it. So yeah, I like the start of this one. And also, of course, when Katsura shows up and also reveals that. Uh, him and Kyube. He keeps having this beef with Kyube that believes that Kyube is trying to steal his thunder. <laughs> when he, the only characters that ever think that they look similar is him. He's the only person who is making these accusations. Yeah, no one else thinks that. It's just him, yeah. Yeah, nobody else thinks that. It's just him. Which is uh, makes it that much funnier uh, that he cares so much about this. So yeah, I liked it. I thought it was a good introduction for it. How do you feel, Zen? Yeah, it was good. I, uh... I liked it. It wasn't. I like the next one more. I think the next one's a lot funnier. Yeah. yeah. Um, but this one was good. Yeah. No. Let's move on to episode the next episode, which is episode two hundred three, which is uh, everyone looks pretty grown up after summer break. Go ahead, Zen. So they continue to have their their battle, and Shinpachi's is like, "What the hell." Um, and then uh, he gets hit with like a rocket, and he's like, "Oh God, it's it's Okita, but it's actually uh, Yamazaki who calls himself Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy Zaki, <laughs> Jimmy Yamazaki." Um, hey. 
Yeah, and he keeps going, ah, <laughs> and he keeps, and he's, he's really funny to me. That was the first time in a while that I've, like, laughed out loud at something that a character's doing in Gintama, because he just keeps going, ah. And, like, he gets, he it, it's the way he delivers it, it's the, ah, it's, like, so aggressive. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. Um, and he's like, oh, you're running away from your first day on the job, eh? And he, like, pulls him into the car. <laughs> um. And then it's Hichikata's also in there, but now he's, like, the, the Shinsengumi's collective bitch, because after two years, he, like, mellowed out too much, because he said that he lowered his mayonnaise intake. Um, and then it turns out that um, Okita has taken over the Shinsengumi with a ridiculous name. It's, like, Kaiser or something. Um, and he's like, actually, I had you join the Shinsengumi so I can take you hostage and use you as a weapon against Gintoki, who is the general of the Kabuki district. And he's too strong for us to fight normally. Um, Hijikata and Jimmy are taking him away after a, a bit where he, they call him Jerk Kaiser. And he's like, hey, that was uncalled for. You don't need to call me that. <laughs> At the very least, don't call me Jerk Kaiser. Just call me a jerk of a Kaiser. I hate when people combine words. Um, and then everyone starts calling him that. And he just and so accepts start... it. Yeah, he's like, all right, fine. I'll change my title of that. I'm now the Jerk Kaiser. <laughs> yes, yeah, jerk, Kaiser. jerk Kaiser. But the Jer is silent. <laughs> um, yes. And so uh, Hijikata and Jimmy are taking him away. But then Hijikata reveals that he's actually also been displaced by two years, like Shinpachi was. Um, and they knock out Jimmy. And um, he was like, yeah, I was trying to, you know, I was trying to just cope because I thought I was crazy, you know? You're the only one there. Um, and Shinpachi's like, actually, you just wanted to be comedic, didn't you? Or you wanted to be the funny man. They, um, were, they were both straight men, and they just wanted to stop being straight. <laughs> yeah. And so they were like, you know, you good luck. But then they get a news report saying that there's a parasitic wart that has taken over. Um, and it feeds on ambition. And it, it changes its host into whatever it is that they're, like, trying to become. Uh, and the only way to cure them is to whack them with a paper fan. And so the two of them are like, it's time to save the day. We're the only ones that can do this. <laughs> um Kagura appears, and she's, like, crying. And she's like, Shimpachi, I don't know where you went. The odd jobs without you is like you with no glasses, and she like grabs him into a hug and goes to kiss him, and he's like, "Wait a minute, maybe this is okay." <laughs> <laughs> and then um, Chikado's like, "Don't fall for it. It's just a wart," and he goes to hit her with the fan, and then Okita tanks the hit, and is like, "I didn't want you to dirty your hands by committing uh, by hitting a woman and committing a crime because if you did." After all the evils I've done to the Shinsengumi, it would mean they were all just a bunch of thugs. And he, like, passes out. And he's being super nice to him. And then uh, Hichikata falls for it. And he's like, wait, I'm going to help you. And uh, then it's Shimpachi says, no, don't fall for it. He's just a wart. And then he goes to to hit Okita with the fan. And then uh, Ote, or not Ote. Um, yeah, Ote. Yeah, it is Ote. I'm mixing her up with the old lady. Yeah, Ote is um, yeah. Uh, shows up and she's like, this baby would not want you to hit a dying man. And he's like, you already gave birth? <laughs> and then it turns out that the baby is actually um, Hijikata's baby. And Ote uh, cheating on Kondo like, broke him mentally to the point that he's wearing a dress and he's wheeling a baby doll around as a doll. And he steals the baby from Hijikata and they like chase him down on top of a rooftop. And he's like, I'm going to jump off the rooftop and kill myself with the baby. And then, um, fucking, uh, is it Zorako shows oh, up. Oh, yeah, Zorako, yeah. yeah. No, like, it's, oh, yeah. excuse me. I literally got, no, I, I can't remember which one shows up first. I think it is yeah, actually. Yeah, between him and Kyuve. Yeah. But then Zorako shows up and is like, oh, you're going to be upset because that baby is not yours. Well, what about the baby that is yours? And then, uh, apparently they hooked up and had a baby, and it's a gorilla baby. <laughs> a little, um, little baby gorilla. It's a little gorilla baby. And then Kyuve shows up, also, like, crazy, and steals both of the babies and the doll from Kondo's thing, and, is, and then her own baby, which is a penis, I think. Yeah, it's a, it is implied to be a penis. <laughs> yes. 
And then, and then she's like, I've become the ultimate life form that can be both mother and father <laughs> at the same time. I will raise these babies properly. And then Shimpachi like snaps and hits them all with the fan and breaks their warts off. And he's like, I knew it. Hijikata was also wart infected. Um, and then he's like, I, I gotta do this. I gotta, I gotta try even harder next year. I, I can definitely do it. Um, and then Gintoki shows up and is like, actually, we're not done yet because you are also a wart. And then hits Shapachi with the fan. Um, and then he pulls off the wig because he was wearing a Yamcha wig. It was all fake. And he gets back into his regular clothes and he's like, huh, how come I'm the only one that wasn't infected? How about you all get with it? <laughs> the main guy. <laughs> And then he's like, "Well, I don't know what to, uh, what to do next time because these people are actually gonna like train. And the next time we catch up to the manga, this is gonna get serious." <laughs> and so he goes, "I guess I'll just use this form." And then he transforms into Final Gets a Good Ten Show each. <laughs> and then the episode just ends. I was when I saw him turn into that form of Ichigo because I again I don't watch a lot of Beach, but this was a character in Or Collection. I was like, Zen is gonna love this. It comes out of fucking nowhere, <laughs> and he turns into it. It's really funny. It's also really good because the animation goes really cool for that brief moment where he turns into him. Uh, would you you also know the differences? Is this actually just one for one exactly how he looks like? Yeah. That's hilarious. I don't know how they got away with that. <laughs> well, it's it's slightly different because he's still got Gintoki's um, shirt. Oh, okay. Legally but distinct. Maybe. I mean, obviously it's not. It's distinct in the slightest other than that. But he's still <laughs> wearing Gintoki's shirt over top of the bandages. So. Yep. And uh, to be fair, Okita's also rocking the Code Geass look as well. He's wearing ra- Yeah, these... like here. This is, this is uh, what Ichigo looks like. Yeah. Oh. I can look at it. Yeah, that kind of looks exactly the same, except for he's just wearing Gintoki's clothes. <laughs> That's funny. That came so close. It's also the return of the Bleach jokes. It's been a very long time since we've had any Bleach Yeah, I missed the OP where he does Bunkai. There you go. Maybe that just means that now they're, that they're in 16 by 9 they can only do that much better versions of it. <laughs> All right. So yeah, this episode, uh, really good. I really liked it. Um, the fucking Jimmy bit, the jo- Jimmy Yamazaki is so funny. I don't know, <laughs> I can't really explain to you why it's so funny, but it's probably because it's just such a huge character departure from how Yamazaki usually is, and also that, that hard, intense, ah, that shows up every single sentence is really good. Um, and also when Hijikata shows up and he's, like, pretending to be, like, the, the, the bitch of the Shinsengumi is really good. Um, Jimmy oh. Yamazaki fucking killed me, dude. He's got, like, <laughs> spiky blonde hair. He's, he's, every time he went, eh, I kept thinking of a gangster going, like, yeah. Yeah, see? Yeah, that's exactly yeah, what dude. it is. I kept thinking of. Jimmy Yamazaki, see? Trying to skip um, out on Jimmy your first... Yamazaki, see? Yeah. Trying to skip out on your first day of the Shinsengumi, eh, Shinpachi? <laughs> That's like... The... <laughs> Killing me, dude. <laughs> eh, see? Think you're gonna get away with attacking me, Hijikata? Eh? <laughs> like, yeah, it's basically... It's, also, yeah, it's very funny when he's like, you're not gonna get away with this, and Hijikata hits him again. <laughs> yeah. With the sword. And then he's gone for the rest of us. He is. That's he it. never gets hit with the fan. <laughs> they never well, have any... Uh... What if he stays Jimmy Yamazaki? That would be amazing. Uh, bring him back. Why does he call himself Jimmy? I don't know. It has to be like some kind of play on the idea of a delinquent, of trying to be as hard of a delinquent as possible. That's the only thing I can imagine it as. Um, I, besides that, I also like when Hasegawa shows up for a brief moment, they've showed what he's been doing, and basically he's has a new career. And he has, like, and the new song, where his, like, new song is called, um, I'm Gonna Cut My Hair, even though he keeps making references saying, like, I'm not gonna cut my hair. It's like, why do you, do you guys just hate me with long hair? What's going on? Can we talk? Can you yeah, just that was, yeah, he was, like, His new song, I've Cut My Hair. And he's like, no, I didn't. What's wrong with me? Am I, like, ugly with long hair? <laughs> Am I just ugly? Yeah, what's going on here? Uh, that's really good, because that song also plays while they're having their serious moment, talking about the lost, uh, year that they've had. Um... I like how quickly Shinpachi um, switches up the second that he sees, like, oh, yeah, we have to save them all. And then Kagura shows up with her new body, and he's just like, you know what? Maybe not all of this is so bad. 
and he and, and immediately his guy was like you idiot don't what are you doing <laughs> hit her hit her with the damn fan she's just trying to distract you don't worry about it but it continues on with the uh running thing of shinpachi just being completely weak to any form of woman in any form at all it's really good uh okita's moment where he saw when he's like dying and he's like saying like oh man i really wish i could have shared mayonnaise with you again <laughs> and, th and then that's when it's shimpachi's turn to go like you never did that at all and then the way the hijikata tries to revive him is that he tries to feed him mayonnaise <laughs> to bring him back to life yeah he, he like injects him with two different things of mayonnaise yep and it, it just doesn't work out the bit with the baby was so crazy when they started going back and forth about saying, like, here... Like, the the fact that they kept revealing new moms on new strollers <laughs> was really good. Um, especially when um, uh, Katsura showed up and he's just like, yeah, remember this? This is our baby now. He has, like, a little gorilla baby. And then Shinpachi just goes like, weren't you guys supposed to be enemies? What is going on here? <laughs> You're in the, none of this makes any form of sense. When she goes, I've become the ultimate life form that can be both mother and father. <laughs> and she, like, spins and does this dramatic pose. Yeah. It's really, really good. good. It's really good. And then it reveals her weird penis baby. <laughs> she's just hanging out in the stroller and then she's just like i can raise all these children and she takes all of them including the fucked up condo baby which is just a it's dead a doll. doll i also forget i love it when because like how do i know that it's hitchikata's baby because like that little triangle thing in its hair that's my child <laughs> what what does he call his little baby is like tomogogo T togoro togoro he's like no togoro he's like he's trying to save togoro at every single moment it's like i like, I like what he goes on the baby's innocent kill me instead <laughs> spare my child <laughs> so funny uh that's really good the whole breakdown of it and especially the end where Gintoki reveals that yeah shimpachi was also like the only one that wasn't affected by it was Gintoki, and that's because he lacks any he has, no ambition. he has zero ambition he's just been faking yeah. pretending to be yamcha this entire time <laughs> <laughs> really good and yeah that final it's bit so there good. that final bit it just can't keeps me it, it threw me for a loop when he just fucking goes into that bleach form and i was just like hey, god damn okay let's go yeah, it's just out of nowhere it comes out of nowhere the the animation style since they've gone into 16 by 9 has really improved by a large amount yes it it, it feels kind of good to be in the 16 by 9 era even though i never really had that many complaints about like um the 4 by 3 previously it feels different when you actually have it on full screen <laughs> It just something feels. Yeah, it is. It does look nice. I mean, it, yeah, the old show I didn't think looked bad. No, uh, no, no. That don't make it this, seem like this, it, yeah. you, like you can visibly be like, wow, this is like really, good. yeah, really good. And they, they the, for these two episodes, they really went out with as much crazy like animation gags as they could to f try and fit into a sixteen by nine square. It is. Uh, it shows, and it's really well done. And I thought this was a, a great way to kind of get back into the the groove of everything. Uh, and again. It also continues the show. All these characters show up in here. No Sachan. Not none whatsoever. Nope. Continuing the she is the MVP queen of forever being in the OP and the ED and nothing else. <laughs> the forever queen. Uh, so yeah, I thought it was a really good episode. I thought it was a good way to kind of get back into it. And uh, especially after hearing everything that kind of go through it. I thought it still makes sense even if you did not... Uh, experiencing that yourself they make it pretty clear some shit went down in between the previous episodes <laughs> how do you feel zen uh yeah no it's really good uh this episode had me like it's rare for gintama episodes to get me like literally laughing like out loud and this one absolutely did mm. it's really good yeah shout outs to jimmy yamazaki my that would place higher than eighth for me i also like the quick like shot they had of eighth place and they showed him how he used to look <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no way. What the hell happened? So much changed. Um, Yeah, and that is Gintama for this week. The next week, now to explain what's going to go happen now next week. Next week should be episodes 204, 205, 206, uh, 207, 
208 and I think episode 209. We have to do a, like a decent chunk of them. Um, so that's going to be in total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 episodes. The reason being is that the next, the next thing after is a full-on arc of 5 episodes. So we want to make sure to get these 6 in before anything else happens. Uh, there are also, I've been told that there are going to be some episodes that have to deal with, uh, Valent at least Valentine's Day themed. So, Gintama next week will actually be on the 14th instead of the usual Saturday that when we record it. So if you hear this on Saturday, which is the 10th, the next Gintama episode should be on... Oh, I just realized that we have to record earlier. <laughs> we usually record on Wednesday and Valentine's Day is on 14th, so we'll figure that out ourselves as well. So that's good for us to know as well, Zen, <laughs> that we are going to maybe yes. be recording, move the recording date a little bit. But yeah, that should be the plan for next week. And it feels good to be back into the swing of Gintama again. Uh, we are going to start likely making a lot of headway of stuff because going forward, there's going to be a lot of cases of a lot of stuff being bunched together as we make our way through uh, the back half of Gintama now. And I have to, I think, at some point look up to see when we would need to see that second movie, or when we can see that second movie. I don't want yeah, another... Like, not a problem to do so. Yeah, well, it, we should know, because they should start, like, hyping it up in the anime, like they did with the Zubini Zakura movie. <laughs> so we should know when it, go, when it shows up then. But then I, I also have notes about it, which was... Uh, Written by uh, uh, Hal Nix, who has been very helpful. She's, she's also the one who helped with the, the locating of the OPs and EDs and also gave me the names of everything. So really thank them for a lot of the hard work. They put as much hard work into this, if not more than me and Zen do. All me and Zen do is sit down and watch and occasionally talk and I yeah, do we research. Yeah, watch TV and then talk about how much we liked watching TV. Yes, and how <laughs> Hal is usually up in the comments also talking about how much they love Kintama. So we thank you very much for all the help that you've given to the show your passion is as much and if not louder than ours <laughs> so uh that's what's gonna be up for next week get hyped for it get ready for it and uh if you want to feature more of us i'm gonna try and quickly get this finished before someone at work goes like hey how come you're not working the work came in <laughs> where's the work uh if you want <laughs> if you want some more zenrot you can go over to his channel where he does shonen in chill uh, where you can hear all the latest up on Kagurabachi. Um, what was that new one you mentioned when we did Kuroko? <laughs> oh, Mama Yuyu? No, we don't really talk about that one too much. Oh, damn. No Mama Yuyu, I'm we're, sorry. We're firmly Kagurabachi pilled. You're, if you want all Kagurabachi, uh, no, go to the number one source of Kagurabachi. Zen was there from day one. He always believed. It wasn't a meme for him. It was a dream. It was, and the dream is and coming now true. Now we're living the dream. The the axe is as it were. Exactly, he's ready for it. Um, and you can hear him talk about Jujutsu Kaisen and a bunch of other uh, manga that he's currently reading and that are trying to end, are trying their damnedest to end, but are going at the crazy paces between My Hero and Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> And if you want some more me stuff, you can always come to my channel where there's plenty of me content that you can find. Uh, I was about to say, the usual, the other only other place that you would ever find me content would be on Twitter. But I'm still in exile because I'm 40 hours into um, Like a Dragon and probably, maybe, hopefully, two-thirds of the way through. But based off of how long it took a friend of mine to beat it, which was 80 hours, I maybe just hit the halfway point. So who knows? <laughs> I'll figure it out. <laughs> Eventually I'll return. <laughs> Uh, and that's it for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you want to show support for the show, the easiest way is to just watch it. Um, you can leave a comment, but for the most part, like I always say, when it comes to my channel, Fago will always be there to help drive forward the channel. This will always be here because we like to have a good, fun time and talk about Shonen stuff. <laughs> We like to, we, this is something we super love. Not to say that, that I always have to be more careful with my words because it makes it seem like I fucking hate Fago. I love Fago too. I'm so thankful for all the Fago stuff, but uh, it allows me to do stuff like this so you never have to worry about algorithm shit like that because I know that a lot of YouTubers uh, constantly fret about that. You don't have to worry about that with me and Zen. We come from a different breed that is uh, unchanging in our ways of looking uh -huh. at algorithms and shit. 
The only uh, meter I look at is the percentage of women. And let me tell you, we almost are at 6%, baby. We're getting there. Hey. Slowly but surely, <laughs> they're coming this way. Let's go. And that's the end of Shonen Archive, everyone. Until next time, have a good day. Say goodbye, Zen. Goodbye, everybody. Peace out.